at the school right now. It's dark as hell, but it's not even that late. <laughs> These are the gingerbread cookies that the students made. And there's some uh, French toast with bananas on it. These don't taste exactly like American gingerbread cookies, but they're pretty good. Pretty good. Not really. American ones have like so much more like weird flavor, you know? These are like more subtle and relaxing. I, I think like... Japanese um, taste. Yeah, this is like something that anybody can enjoy, you know? I think like American gingerbread cookies... American gingerbread cookies, you probably either like love them or you hate them, you know? Because I, I don't think someone's gonna eat an American gingerbread cookie, but oh, it's okay. Probably they'll... Is it too strong, you mean? Yeah, because the flavor is pretty strong, you know, so... <laughs> Bunny-shaped cookie. <laughs> Destroyed. <laughs> um, I got three horses right here. Three horses. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. <laughs> Just run. Time for that lucky raffle. Number 20, baby. Let's see what I got. Okay, let's wait for all these people to get out of the way. What did you guys get? I got some soap. Got some soap. Mega Man pencils. <laughs> That's just trash. That's just trash. What? Number 20. Here we go. What is this? What is that, dude? What is that? What is this? Oh, is that tissues? Yes! Yes! I got the tissues! <laughs> yeah. December 22nd, and uh, not even the best today for some reason. Not really in the mood for anything. I don't have classes or anything, so it's okay, but. Not, don't feel as hyped up as normal, but not even like not even really in the mood to eat this food. Normally I've like eaten like a crap ton of food, but still gotta feed myself, so I'm gonna force myself to eat this. This looks pretty good, right? But man, just not in the mood. Just not in the mood to do anything. I just want to sleep. But yeah. Anyways. Even if you're feeling like shit though, you still gotta eat or else you're gonna feel even worse later, so. I will eat this pork and squid okonomiyaki. So I'm all up over here at this uh, dinner party, dinner party event for the uh, first year teachers. Look at all this food pl placed out on the table. Ooh. Yeah, man. Feeling much better after working out today. Like, like I said, working out is just like a release of like stress and everything. So, uh, feeling better. Still not feeling like great, but still better than earlier when I like, didn't feel like eating anything. Now I'm like super hungry. So I'm ready to eat some food, man. Yep. <laughs> In New Japan, they often have these dinner parties, and it's uh, like all you can drink and stuff, but you gotta actually pay. It's not free, you gotta pay, man. And uh, I don't drink very often, so I'm not drinking today. And uh, even without drinks, it is 4,000 yen, which is like $40. And if you're drinking, it's like $6,000. man, just for like a meal. So, I mean, uh, try to make, try to be wise with your money, because these dinner parties, man, they, they add up, they add up. <laughs> They happen quite often, and you gotta pay the price, son. Good morning, everyone. It is December 23rd, and today is a ho it's Tuesday, but today is a holiday because in Japan, the emperor, the current emperor's birthday is always a holiday, and today is his birthday, so there's no school today, so... Um, I was supposed to go to like buy souvenirs for my family and friends and stuff this past Sunday, but things didn't work out, so I have to go today. I'm about to go to the city by myself. It's gonna be boring as hell, but yeah, I'm having to go buy um, souvenirs and stuff for my friends and family back at home today. So that is the plan, but 
my bike is still at the school because of last night's party. So uh, I have to go walk to the school first, pick up my bike, and then go to the station and head to the city. So that is the plan. All up in here in Okayama City, and uh, the festivities are in full blown mode. There's like freaking characters walking all over the place. Freaking Santa Claus winter. Yeah, there it is. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Yeah, so there's like characters walking out of the place and dressed up, taking pictures and stuff. So, uh, yeah, but now I'm gonna go to the mall and try to buy some souvenirs. Yeah, I just got some free tissues. I love free tissues, it's the best thing ever. Over there, more characters. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool, and I just bought my um, bullet train tickets to go to the uh, Narita airport this Friday because this Friday Thomas Gu is making his great return to America. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy, man. So, got that all worked out. It costs two hundred dollars, man. That's pretty expensive. So, yep. So I'm at this Chinese restaurant that I came to with Juan before and I uh, ordered some different items and it's freaking funny because uh, I ordered two things and as I ordered the second item, it was like, okay, so not the first, you want this one? And I was like, no, I want both. And then he was like, in his eyes, I could see it, he said, his eyes were saying, holy shit, can you really finish all that? <laughs> so here it goes, baby. So I just got my food and uh... The only spoon they gave me was like this thing. This is freaking huge. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat it with this or what. Well, can't eat it with chopsticks, so I guess I'm eating with this huge ass spoon. <laughs> December 25th, Christmas Day. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention earlier, in Japan, Christmas Day is not a holiday. You still have school, <laughs> still have work. Freaking sucks. Now, what flavor is this, you might ask? The package says Icy Blue Raz, or Blue Raspberry. So it's about like 2.30 right now, and uh, today was a weird day because, like I said, Christmas Day is not a holiday, but the kids are already on winter vacation. So some of them have like supplemental classes at the school, but um, the teachers aren't really, like I don't, have to, I don't have anything to do. I have zero classes, nothing. But I went to my Thursday school, the supervisor said I, said I could go late, like I said, got there at like 9.45. And I was supposed to have English club at 1.30, but then she was like, oh yeah, they're all studying, so you know, we're not gonna have club today. So she's like, you can go, if you have something you wanna do, you can go do it. So I was like, all right, peace. So I'm out of there, over here, 2.30. Um, yeah, I really feel, I, I don't even know why they want me to go to school. But yeah, that's how it is in Japan, dude. Even when kids aren't at the school, Teachers are going to school, so uh, consider that people complain about teachers in America, complain about teachers' status in America. Oh, by the way, so today I think I'm gonna do some uh, some deadlifts. I never do deadlifts, but just for fun, because I want to see how much I can do. Now I'm not gonna max, but I just want to see how much I can rep for. I think I'm gonna try some deadlifts. Look at this guy swinging the baseball bat, dude. Bam! <laughs> That's why he's not on the team anymore. <laughs> Alright, so what you're seeing here is the 315 pounds. And that is, uh, it's like 345 plates on each side. I can do this. I didn't record it, but he saw me. <laughs> the first attempt I did, I did, I was able to do this twice, okay? So I didn't practice it. I don't do deadlifts at all, and I can do this 315 pounds twice. So I really don't know what my max is. Uh, I am Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not me, man. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> okay, so we've dumped it down to 125 kgs. And uh, Juan told me, if you remember Juan from the other videos, if you watch them, Juan said he can do 275 pounds on the working set, which is this. So uh, just for funsies, I'm gonna see if I can do that as a working set. All right, so uh, here we go, Juan. I hope you like this fucking retad. <laughs> to, uh, is it recording? 
<laughs> okay, yeah. So, here we go. Proof. Evidence if I can do this or not. Because I don't know if I can. Alright? Here we go. Let me warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Over here at the convenience store, just throwing candy and chocolate into my basket so so I can buy my souvenirs. And I'm looking like a fat ass. Look at all that shit in there. <laughs> all right, back at the home. Literally just spent seventy dollars on freaking like candy and stuff. So it did not fit in my bag, my backpack. I put this is completely full of like candy and stuff. And then I had to carry this bag as well. And I, I wonder what like the cashier was thinking when she was checking out like all this candy. She's like, why the hell is this guy just buying a shit ton of candy? But she probably got this. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, so my friends are gonna be uh I'm trying to keep them fat, you know, so they so they can't surpass me in physique. No, just kidding. <laughs> Alright guys, so it is now 11.53 and I'm finally starting my packing, procrastinating like crap. Tomorrow I probably have to get up super early because um, my JT is going to pick me up at like 6.30 and send me to the station. Because I just realized that I'm not taking the 7.53 train, I'm taking the 7.03 train or else I'm not going to be able to make it onto the bullet train. And then I'd get screwed. So, packing up now, check it out. This suit, small suitcase, my carry-on, full of candy and shit like that. And then over here, I'm about to start packing the big, the luggage, you know what I'm saying. And uh, in here, this is the stuff that I brought from, bought from my brother. Um, most of it anyways, like, there's like two things in, two or three things in here for me, but everything else is for my brother. So, um, I'm gonna pack this crap up. And, uh, that's pretty much it for today. And I'll check, see you guys tomorrow morning when I make my great return to America. Hell yeah.